Uh, good afternoon. Is there any question from the last lab? Lab two. Yeah, just let me know if you have any trouble with the lab too. Otherwise, we will have a look of the lab three today. Yep. Okay. And here are the time schedule for the lab and the assignment. Now we are on lab uh lab three, which is week three already. And I think we have already released the assignment specification so it's better to have a look of it by this week the full specification should be released sorry by at the beginning of this week i reckon uh maybe today tomorrow i think But don't worry, let's have a look of the schedule for the assignment. So for the assignment, uh, it's, it will take around one week of, of work. So you, it should be able to do it from week four or week five, because from week uh, lab three, we are going to teach how to use the Wi-Fi API and you will have a look of it later. And in lab four, we are actually have some demonstration on how to collect the data and do the processing with, for the assignment. So the lab three and lab four will be highly relevant to our assignment phase one. And you will get more idea by learning the lab three and lab four to do the phase one. And for the phase one for the assignment, it will do on at the end of week five, should be Friday, 5 p.m. So it's better to have a look of the lab three and try to understand all the stuff inside. And of course the lab four, then the assignment for you should be an easy task. Because like in lab three and lab four and you you will learn all you need to know and then just basically repeat the content inside the lab to do the assignment phase one is that okay Okay, let me open the labs for you right now. And if possible, also open the labs three by yourself in your own laptop. Uh, will be a assignment consultation. Yes, we are planning to have some consultation every week. After, uh, I think the consultation slot will be announced after we list the specification. Yeah, basically we will have one or two session per week. And let's go to the specification for lab three. Uh, it's due on next Tuesday. Uh, for today's lab will be very straightforward and it's quite easy for you if you understand how to do a Python uh, like script writing. Let's just have a look of the task one in here. So I guess you already have your own laptop ready. Maybe Mac or Windows or either Linux. Mm, and basically just copy and paste. But when you copy the command, just be careful we have a space in here 
So when you do the pasting, if it's not working, maybe have a check of the format because this is PDF format. It may contain some space. For example, at this place, I, I just remove the space and it should work. And for example, this one, it will have some space at the beginning of each line. So before you paste it, just remove the unnecessarily space in here and maybe somewhere else just try to find it but because i'm running on the windows so the command for me is this one i just copy and use the command line and this is the this is the command as you can see we have the information for the SSID. You say okay. Uh, so for the task one, just copy the command and paste the command and get some information. Then in the report, just include a image like this. Just show you can run this one successfully. So maybe we can have a look of the information row by row to understand it. For example, now I am connected to my home router. And you can see the type authentication, like the security, how they check the password and encryption how encryption works and what is the BSSID. So this is the MAC address for the router. And this is signal strength. It's 88%. It's not in DBM, it's in percentage. So how can we convert this one into DBM? Uh, actually, I have mentioned this one in the ad forum. So if you open the ad forum, then you should be able to find it in this post. In this post, we have to try to explain how to convert the RSSI in percentage to DBM. So how to calculate this one? 88%. Just follow the guide in here, divide by two minus 100. So 88% divided by two minus 100 is minus 56 dBm. That's how we do the conversion for the Windows system. If you are using Mac, you don't have this problem. And like the, what else? That like radio type, you can see what's the protocol is running, AC. And the band 5 gigahertz. For some of the Windows system, you may not have this information. Like for example, you don't have this row. So how can you get the bandwidth, the band, which is the frequency of the Wi-Fi? If you don't have this row, how can you get it? Uh, the basic idea is by looking at the channel, because the 2.4 gigahertz will always within the channel from 1 to 11 or 16, uh, should be 11. <clears throat> so this one is 149, it's obviously 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. And also you can have a look of the basic rates and other rates for the uh, this SSID. For the five gigahertz, the basic rate is usually start starting with six. If you have a two point four gigahertz, usually starting from one Mbps. Does that make sense? Uh, I also put it in here. I cannot find the frequency information. Then you just need to have a look of the channel, or have a look of the uh, rates, or if you are using Mac because for Mac, we don't have the frequency information. 
So maybe you can also have a look of the signal strengths as well to guess what is the uh, frequency. Okay, we have a question here. Why do we need to convert it for the lab? Mm, yeah, so for the task one, we don't need to do any kind of conversion. All you need is just a screenshot. Uh, but for the task two, if you scroll down a little bit, we need to write a Python script. Like uh, here is an example. We have a Python 3 script. Then it will show some table like this. We will keep printing the table. As you can see here, we need to print out the signal strengths in DBM. Right. So that's why we may need to convert the percentage of the signal strength into DBM. And the most important stuff, stuff for the task two is to estimate the distance because when we connect to the uni-wide, we don't know where's the router, but we can have a guess based on the some calculation. So for this equation, we can't say it's 100% correct uh, just give us some sense how to estimate the distance from the frequency and signal strengths. Is that okay? So in the task two, just write a program which will keep printing the time, the frequency, the channel, the signal strengths, and the estimated distance. Um, now do we need to connect UniWide only or any other, other network is fine? Any network is fine. You don't need to connect to UniWide, but it's better to test on UniWide just in case uh, you have some trouble. So we can find out the trouble earlier because this task is really it's pretty much the same what we need to do for the assignment this one is the same same like very simple version and next week we are going to try to capture all the data we need for our assignment but like at the very beginning we just try a simple one and see how it goes. Uh, another question. So we are not required to do some detailed frequency like PUI Wi-Fi library provided using 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz would be just fine. Uh, you are free to use any library to do this kind of programming and for your assignment. So, so for your assignment and the lab, you can use any lab, uh, any library that is working on your machine. Do we need to connect? Uh, already done. In the what to submit section, it says to say our observation of task one. Does it mean more than screenshot uh yes you can just write like two one or two sentences about like what have you run in your shell command and what have you get what kind of information you get from the command for example you get an output like this you can say oh, i can observe maybe two different ssid around my computer and I can get the information, including the SSID, signal strength in percentage, and uh, blah, 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 something like this. So just a very simple description should be fine. Just to make sure you have everything ready for your assignment. In task two, if we have more than one network, do we need to print all network or just one network? I just need to print out the network you are connecting. 
Like for example, this one, task two, we only care about the unit wide right now. How to how do we write the program for task two? Okay. Uh, let me give you more idea how to write this one. So I, I think everyone have some fundamentals knowledge about Python, right? So I'm not going to teach the syntax. I'm just going to show you high level stuff. For example, I put some template code in the ad forum. The post is 45. Uh, I guess I just need to copy the, this one and send it to everyone in the chatting room. Uh, yeah, I will send this post into our chat. You can check. Then you can see some template code to get started for your task too. Uh, you can just click run. And uh, for this one, it's just a very easy function for the distance estimation. So we have inputs, which is the frequency and the signal strengths. Just be careful with this frequency. It's in megahertz instead of gigahertz. For example, for example, your uh, your connection maybe is five gigahertz. So, what's the value in megahertz? It's five thousand, right? So, be just be careful of the units of the frequency. And the signal level it should be some negative value. Uh, let's say minus 57 dBm, and then we just put minus 57, and it will return the estimated distance, like absolute value for the signal level. Uh, basically, we have finished this function. All you need just include this part into your program and let this function to do the calculation. And you can see, I uh, have some example at the end, print out the estimate distance, which is seven meters. If you go back and have a check of the table in here, you can see 2.4 gigahertz and minus 57 will get the result of seven meters, seven meters. So this equation is working fine with the 2.4 gigahertz. This equation is is good enough for the 2.4 gigahertz, but maybe for five gigahertz, it's not very accurate, but it's fine. Just give you some idea to calculate the distance based on the signal strength and frequency. Is that okay? Uh, and then we have more code at the end of this post, a template code to get started is Mac OS only because I'm doing the meeting uh, with my Windows computer. But uh, like, uh, are we using the Mac right now? Like, can I know like how many students are using Mac and how many students are using the Windows? If you are using Windows, just like, let me know. Yeah, okay. Okay, I see a lot of windows here. Yeah. <laughs> so for Mac, basically copy and paste and try to print some output in here. It, it should work. If it doesn't work, check this two line because uh, if you remember, if you just go through the lab, it will say how to run it. It should be some some, some command like this, right? And in the script, I'm trying to call this command while airport s, right? Airport s, airport i to get the output. But like, because I have already linked this location, so this folder into my path. So I don't need to call the very long command. I just need to run the airport i instead of the blah, 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 airport s, airport i. So I add this path to my root path already. 
So maybe for your computer, you need to change the parameter to like, for example, to this one, maybe in your side, it's, it's very long in here, something like this. But I have already modified my system, so I don't need to add this path. But maybe in your computer, you need to add the whole path into it. And here are the parameters. Then you can output some uh, information about your Wi-Fi. Uh, let me try to have a demonstration on the Windows as well, because we have so many Windows here. Just give me a second. Opening my IDE right now. Let me just try to copy and paste and the command. Okay. Uh, is it clear for my screen sharing? Because I'm worrying about the sharing is too small to check my typing here. This is the code. I just copy it from the ad forum. Because this one is for the Mac. So now I'm going to change it to Windows. For the Windows. Uh, I have import some library that I may need to use. And then here are the function for the calculation for the distance. So we don't need to modify anything about the function. And now we come to here. We want to run the shell command to get the information from our shell. Like, like this, we are going to run this command and try to fetch the information from here to our Python scripts. So how can we do this? We just run the netsh wlan, just copy and paste, and try to change the parameters here. Uh, we try to run this command with our Python scripts, and just divide the stuff with by creating a list so because each parameter should be in a like single item in the list and then let's just delete this one info connected wi-fi information information de decode uh yeah so in here i may have some trouble because i use the regular expression to match the output so i'm not pretty sure if i can match it or not mm, let's just stop at this place and see how it goes so we just print the connected wi-fi information with, with decode because the pipe is bytes let me just try to stop it here. Um, <clears throat> okay, now we stop it here. Um, we can check the output for this one. It's in bytes. Uh, how can I check the value? It's in here. And see that's the information I have. You can see that's the information I printed out. It's in Python script right now. So now we need to maybe uh let's say we are going to look at the signal strengths for one of the Wi-Fi. Let's just choose a random one, Optus, this one. Now we are going to try to uh, fetch the signal strengths 
from the whole string. So what can we do? Do you have any idea? Or now we want to like output a list for all the SSID. What can we do? So in here, I use a regular expression to help us to search all the relevant information. Uh, if you want to do it, just use the library regular expression. If you have no idea what is regular expression, maybe you can spend like 30 minutes to learn how to use the regular expression on Lige. It's pretty simple, but the syntax in here is a bit hard to understand at the very beginning. Let's say uh, you have this output and we are trying to put output all the SSID in here. Is that okay? Let me just have a very quick demonstration on this one. So we just regular expression, search. We are looking for the SSID and plus some digits. And with a symbol here and a space here. And then maybe some word. And we are searching based on the SSI uh, no, with this one. This is the variable that's storing this information, right? The decode. You can see we find one SSID. So we just change this one, search to find all. Try to have a list of all the SSID. Oh, sorry doesn't work. Maybe find all. Yep. So use this one. It will fetch all the SSID in here. So we just uh, maybe extend it more. Let, let's say now we want to get the uh, signal as well. So uh, actually, I'm not pretty sure about the syntax for the regular expression here. Maybe I'll just have a try. If I'm wrong, just uh, don't blame me. Uh, let's try to do this signal. Signal. And we can see there are some space in here. And, and like space plus. And we have this one, and we also have a space. And I'm not sure. Yeah, we do have a space, and we have some digits, digits, and with percentage. Oh, it doesn't work. Let me try. Let me try another one. Maybe delete this one. No, it's still not working. How about this one? Hmm. So the syntax is not correct. So maybe maybe I made some mistake by like typing this kind of stuff. How about I just copy and paste like this? Doesn't work. Let me try to fi figure out what happened. Uh, we do have some signal here, and we are care about the information after the signal. Uh, we do have some space in here and uh, and the digits here, right? Oh, now we get it. And then we have a percentage symbol here. Okay, that's great. And we all, all we care about is the percentage. So we just modify this. Syntax, okay, so so we get the percentage directly. And we also care about the SSID. Um, I, I don't remember what's the SSID, what's the command before? Something like, something like this, SSID. Okay, so now we're trying to combine them.
Um, how about this? No, it doesn't work. <laughs> um, yes. Call them in separately. Uh, no. Make almost work, right? Now you have some idea. Uh, SSID, this one, it have different signal strengths because it have different access point in the same area. And for the this one, it have only one access point, 22% and blah, 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 like this. So this is just a very simple demonstration. How can I fetch the string information from the Python? For example, for example I only care about SSID and the signal strengths. How can I fetch them with my regular ex expression library in Python 3? And of course, you can fetch more information like what's the band, right? Just the same idea. Just uh, just change this one. You can see it's too, uh, I missed the dots in here. It should be 2.4 because the syntax is not correct in here. So uh, I need I may need to do some modification like it may have dot dot and put it like this. You can see by two point four. That's how we use the regular expression. It's very simple simple uh demonstration. You may still have no idea like how they are write this stuff. It's okay. Just give you a taste of it. Don't worry too much about the syntax in here because you have actually a lot of way to match the information from the string, right? Maybe you can use another library, use another method created by your, by yourself. It doesn't really matter. We just need to get information. This is just a one, one of the way to get it. You have plenty of way to do the same task. Uh, for the Mac, it should be the same. So, uh, because in the Mac, I already put a code in here. You can see we do have some uh, regular expression, how to matching the information. You can use the same. So I have tested on different Mac system. It's working properly. And then you, you can print out the SSID and estimated distance. So with running this program, you will get some uh, idea of how to write the task too. I think this one is pretty sufficient if you can, are able to run the code. Okay, let me check what question do we have. Maybe use OS P open, P open. Uh, you can use different uh, methods to run run the bash command. It's okay. Uh, yeah, if you are trying to send me a question, try to make it public. Otherwise, they will be confused what I am talking about. Uh, so we have another question for task two. Are you supposed to get another location after 60 seconds or and then move again in 90 seconds before running the command? Uh, yes, it's better to move when you run the task too. Because we want you to see what's the difference between the, the like the calculation. Like for example, in at the very beginning, you run the script, then you will print out something like this, and you try to move to another place, and but you still keep the connection with the Uniwide, and and then it will run it automatically. Let's say it will run every 15 or 30 seconds. Doesn't really matter. And it will print a new row in your computer to show the new information. Do we have to keep reading data in the sample application? What interval do we use? Yes, so this script, will not end. You, it will just keep running until you close it. 
And what interval do we use? You can set either like five seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, doesn't really matter. As long as you know how it works, the interval is okay. Yeah, so don't worry too much about the interval. We just want you to know how to fetch the frequency, channel, or signal strength information from our system. Uh, you can use the shell command we provided in here, or you can use any library can provide you the similar information. And at last, you just need to estimate the distance according the equation here. And we also have the code. We already done it for you in here. Just copy and paste and run this one. So I think that's all for me, from me for today. For the submission, you just need to have a screenshot of your program of how you run it. Like what's the output? And then, yeah, put it in the zip file to the submission. How do we get frequency again through the Windows command? Uh, yes. How do we get frequency? Like in the band. Uh, when you run the Windows, you may find it in the output, like in the band, 2.4 gigahertz, which is great if you can find this row. If you cannot, then you can refer to this, refer to this question. I cannot find the frequency information. Then uh, just refer to the channels, refer to the signal strengths or refer to the rates. Does output needs to be exactly as it appear in the PDF? Or we can run the code in three intervals. Okay, so just, uh, just to explain this part once again, the time interval in here does not really matter. Uh, for example, you can set it as 30 seconds or like 15 seconds, doesn't really matter. In here, we just want to want you, want, want you to know how to write a program like this. And like, for example, the distance estimation is not very accurate, that's fine as long as you can do the calculation and as long as you can print out the signal strength uh, correctly and the channel is correct. And you should be able to print out the table with your Python script directly. Like you are printing something like this. Uh, it's not exporting a table to to the outside you just print it out yeah in the mac os you have two numbers in the channel uh it's the lecture content for this week you will figure out why we have two channel at the same time uh, like for your connection just by reading the lecture notes uh, and for this application you just mentioned the first channel like one nine sixteen and just ignore the second one or just put them both on the on over there it's fine
Yes. Uh, I only have one SSID that pops up. Do I need to make my script printing or if there's more? Uh, if possible, yes, please. For example, my computer also print one, right? I, uh, when I run the command, I only have one information here. There are one network visible because I'm currently connected to this. So how can I show them all? I just run run the command like run uh here I only have one uh it's okay for this application but sometimes I have multiple I'm not pretty sure why uh for now one is okay Uh, I think it's because the API problem should uh one way to solve this problem is disconnected. You will see all the SSID. So this one is a common question for our Windows. Uh, but for our task two, it's enough. We just need this one. So we don't need to print all the networks. But for our assignment, we do need to, uh, but it's not the assignment time, right? So we don't worry about it right now. Uh, so if, well, when we go to lab four, I will try to figure out this question give, by giving you some solutions. So one of the solution is disconnected. If you disconnect from the current network, then you will be able to see all the networks around you. But for now, you don't worry about this question. It's okay for our task too, doesn't matter. Is that okay? Uh, I will also output this one to, to the forum. So maybe do more modification. I will try to make this code accessible as well. So it will be fair for us. Now we get the SSID and signal strengths.
Uh, for task one for Mac OS, do we need to provide commentary on all three commands? And uh, we need to refer to here. A brief document about your... Yes. So if you are running the Mac, just get a screenshot of each command. Um, like one or two sentence is enough. Don't make it too long. Just to make sure you can run the command. And that's all. Okay, so I think uh, I will try to make the... <clears throat> Sorry, I will try to make the recording like shorter because uh, when you re uh, watch the recording, you don't want to want it to be very long. So maybe I just ans answering more question if you have. If we don't have, I will just stop the recording just to make it shorter. So if you have any question re regarding to the lab three, I try to post it or you can. Uh, you can speak or share your screen. <clears throat> yeah, try to send the question to everyone oh. so everyone can see the question. This is one of the question I posted on the chat. Uh, can you explain like the task to code section? Uh, it will not create a table. Yes, it will not create a table. Uh, it will just print out two message. For example, in my side. Uh, when I try to run it, for example, this code, uh, they will have some output like this. Let me open the output. Uh, it will show the information like this here are the output from here here are the SSID around you blah 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 and here are the signal strengths so firstly you need to match them one by one by using your own method so in here I just show or demonstrate how can you fetch the information from a long string it's not a complete task yet for example my python can get this kind of information by running this command like i run this command right this is windows i i run this command using the sub process 
So it will help me to run the shell command and save the output into this variable. And now we need to match the information such as BSSID or SSID with the signal strengths. And we also need to have the information such as the bandwidth and the, uh, sorry, sorry, this is frequency, not bandwidth, uh, match with the band, which is the frequency. And we also need to know what's the channel and such thing like this. And, and when you look at the specification for the this program, you can see for the time, it's just when you run the program, you start counting. And for the frequency, we have some information in, in here, right? And for the channel, we also have the channel in here, channel nine. And for the signal strengths, we have the percentage in here, all we need to do is just convert. And for the estimate distance, we just follow the equation to do the calculation. So basically, all the information you need are in this variable. Now you just need to match them. But if you are using the Mac, it will be easier because in the Mac, we have different output, uh, such, such like this. You just need to run this command and it will give all the information you need for task two. And try to just match signal strengths, band and channel while this command. So just some string matching task and calculation as well. Okay, I just stopped the recording right now. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions.